Hello everyone, this is Raz. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain briefly about uh, R and R Studio that are free data analysis software which are, which are getting popular day by day these days. So this video covers the basic features in R and R Studio starting from how to install and then how to use R, what, are the, what is the window of R, okay. So I'll, I'll be also showing you the basic data analysis using the software. So let me go to the steps directly. So first of all, uh, in Google, um, you can install R, okay. So you can type install R or download R and then you can click on the link. And then you can download for, uh, for your computer. So when you download R, um, the software is about 81 megabytes, so it's not that big okay, compared to SPSS. So when you um, download and install R, so this will be the window of R, okay? So in addition to R, it's better to uh, install R Studio as well, which, ha which has the additional functionalities, okay? Which, which, are the, which has the additional features. So let me show you how to install R Studio. So you can install this two side by side so that it will be easy for you to carry out the data analysis or data management procedures. So again go to Google and then type install R Studio. Okay, install R Studio and then you can see the website over here. Uh, go to the website and then you can choose your version. So for desktop it's free, okay. so. You can you can use the open source license and then you can download it. So you can download for different operating systems. So when you're using Windows, you select the Windows. Okay, if you're using um, Ubuntu, select that one. If you're using Mac, select that one. So it, it works in multiple operating systems and the size is about hundred MB. So when you download and install R Studio, and then this is the icon. So you can open that. So this is the R Studio software, and the previous one is the R. Okay. So R Studio has the additional features. So even the graphics is better. So let me show you how it works. Okay. So I'll be showing in R Studio. So it's the same using R or R Studio. So when you're using R Studio, then you can uh, use most of the features of R. Okay. Unless you are doing the programming. So now let me show you some of the basic features. So when uh, when you see this window, uh, when you open R Studio, then you can see this window. Okay. So let me start with assigning the value to a vector. So vector is like a variable. Okay. Let's understand that. Okay. X or Y or something like that. So it's like a variable. It's, it's like a sequence of data elements of the same basic type. So let me assign a vector. Let's say X. Okay. Or Y or gender or anything you can assign okay and then vector assignment so to to assign something you have to use this less than sign and minus or you can use equal to sign as well and then vector assignment is denoted by c so a small c and then give the bracket let's say let me in, in, input the data 2 4 6 8 10 and um, 12 14 okay so this is the sample data and hit enter now what happens is that i assign the values different numbers from uh, seven numbers 2 4 6 8 10 12 and 14 to a variable vector x okay so we should not forget to use this c sign okay so a small c is the assignment of vectors now when i have to let's say calculate the minimum maximum range okay median or even the sample size so i can now do it very easily let's say i want to calculate the minimum so what i do is minimum and then x because x is the variable name or the vector name and then hit enter so minimum is two okay when i have to calculate maximum maximum x So maximum x and hit enter so the maximum value is 14 suppose I have to uh, calculate the range range and then x 
so range is it ranges from 2 to 14 okay for example I want to summarize the data so summary and then X enter so the minimum first quartile median mean third quartile maximum okay for example I want to calculate the variance okay so is VAR X so 18 is the variance variance means the, squ uh, the square of the standard deviation so if I want to let's say calculate the um, standard deviation then I should use the SQRT function that is square root so square root of variance okay so SQRT give the bracket okay now what, I, what you have to do square root of variance right so VAR X so there are so two functions used one is variance function and another is square root function so another beauty of R studio is that it automatically gives you the bracket okay either uh, but in R you have to type it manually hit enter so it's 4.32 is the standard deviation so this is quite easy so this is just the basic overview of uh, R studio okay so let me show you some of the features okay so if you want to uh, let's say um, uh, display some of the demo in R packages then you can use demo demo command okay and then give the bracket and close the bracket hit enter so it, it shows you the um, demo okay it shows you some of the things that you can do uh, using the software so it shows you the output and here you can um, type the command okay so uh, similarly if you um, want to open the HTML help then you can type help help dot start and then give the bracket and then hit enter so you can see the HTML help over here and then you, uh, there are several manuals there are several references there are several materials uh, that you can find out okay so if nothing here here you can see the additional command if nothing happens then you should open this URL yourself in a certain um, browser or something like that okay so if you want to um, let's say clear the screen then you can do control and um, so you can you can use the command control and L so when you type control and L then the screen will be cleared okay so another beauty of R is that um, using R you can even open open the Excel files and even SPSS files for that you can install the additional packages over here so to uh, for that you, can, you have to install the package okay for example let's say um, you want to uh, install the package for reading the actual file then what you have to do is install dot packages and then give the bracket so to open the excel file you have to install readxl okay so it will automatically give you the inverted sign uh, it will automatically close with the double inverted sign and it will, it will automatically give the bracket okay so and then hit enter so what it will do is it will take some time and it will in install the package It's installing the package in the um, in the in the uh, R installation directory in the in the library okay so you see the package read actually is successfully unpacked and md5 sums checked and then the downloaded packages are available in the certain folder now what you can do is now you can open the excel files okay so file and then you can import the data set from excel because you install the uh, read actual package already now you see this window and then you can browse the file let's say let me open the sample excel files so is um, in there are certain excel files for practice in in the in the species installation directory so let me open here we go there is 
one demo excel file you see so here is the preview and then you can click on import now the file is loaded now the table is loaded and now for example you want to uh, generate a table for gender now what you can do because you have already loaded the package and you have already opened the file over here now let's say you want to um, gender a table for gender so you can type table table command okay specify the file name so it's demo demo is the file name right because this is the file name demo and then give um, dollar sign so dollar sign and then it will show you the variable names automatically so R studio it has the artificial intelligence so it, it gives you the options okay so you can click on that particular variable name gender or you can even type uh, manually as well and then hit enter so female is 100 and male is 100 it's quite easy right for example um uh let's say let's let's try another um function okay so let's say uh, table and then demo dollar sign gender comma demo dollar sign let's say marital status now let's try what happens now you see it shows you the cross tabulation between uh, gender and uh, marital status because the code for marital status are 0 and 1 uh, here you can see there so this is just the basic overview okay so in the in the coming videos I'll be showing you uh, the additional features like how to draw the graphs how to install other packages how to open the SPSS files so additional features uh, using R and R studio this is an overview on how you can um, use the software it's quite easy you install it and then you can uh, open the files you can install the packages you can do the basic calculations so this is really cool okay so just wanted to make it for the beginners so if you uh, if you think that this is uh, um, uh, if you think that I, I need to make more videos on R and R studio in the future let me let me know so I'll try to cover as many aspects as possible needed for data analysis um, so if you think that this video is useful for you please uh, share it with your colleagues and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe um, thank you very much bye bye cheers